What's up everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at what is probably my favorite drift car out of my collection and that is the Falcon Tires S14. This car I haven't shown you guys around yet and a lot of people have been asking me about the car, uh, when did I build it and show you guys around what it is made of. So here she is. It's quite used at the moment because Last event we did with this car was the Oman International Drift Championship. Uh, actually this year we were lucky enough to uh, compete in a full championship before this pandemic happened and uh, it's after coming back with some battle scars but uh, some definitely very good memories from earlier on in this year. Uh, we managed to win the championship and uh, it was looking like a brilliant start to the season and nobody knew what was coming but you know it could be a lot worse uh it's really nice to have the car back at home now and i do have some plans for the car moving forward but i think uh, we'll just get stuck in and talk about the car um when i built it so i actually bought this car back in the end of 2013. my good friend michael and myself actually saw the car at the same time and it was my one of my other friends was selling this car as a complete standard road car. Myself and Michael went halves with the car, uh, it cost us 400 euros each, and uh, later on, I'd say about four hours later, I decided that I was gonna build it as my new competition car. So I got 400 euros to Michael, and uh, it basically cost me 800 euros to get a Kuki S14. Uh, really good deal, thanks James for uh, such a great deal with this car. I'm sure he didn't know what was coming with it, and uh, I certainly didn't either, but, um, so we started building the car in 2013 uh, here at our own workshop, Dean M Sport. It was, uh, okay, the key. So we actually started building this car in the off season of 2013 uh, because I was going competing in the European Championship in 2014 and this RX-7, it was about the same time when cars were starting to develop a lot more power and this at the time had 450 horsepower and we decided to build an S chassis because cars are getting really fast in Europe and uh, I, I, I thought that we'd need a little bit more power and S chassis seemed to be going in a really good direction Wise Fab were after launching their kit and I really wanted to try that out too so I got some great support from my partners back then um, and they also agreed that it would be a good idea to build a new car to try to see how we get on in the European Championship and uh, over the off season we built this car here in Dean M Sport I spent a crazy amount of time uh, with my brothers and friends uh, building this car from absolutely nothing. It was a really exciting time for me to be involved in building the car from the ground up and we were going to take on the European Championship and honestly I had no idea how we'd get on. I was just really excited to uh, to give it my best shot, build the best car that we could here and uh, it was an amazing experience. We went out in 2014, uh, it was a more basic version of the car which it is now. Um, it had the 2JZ, Wisefab, BC Racing coilovers, uh, rear mounted radiator. I was running a 350 box at the time and we went to the first round and it was also the same time when I met Peter Vincic and David Karkashik for the first time, uh, Bud Metal Auto Drift Team. Blown away by their setup, so in my battles I uh, actually broke the gearbox and uh, it was the second time that weekend I had a gearbox issue. Uh, we managed to fix it the first time, uh, but obviously it happened in the competition, so I knew the gearbox was a major weak point. So for the second round, we managed to get a dog box into the car, and then the car performed flawlessly for the rest of the season. And I managed to win the 2014 Drift All-Stars European Championship. Uh, we went back in 2015 and 2016 and managed to win it both years as well. So this car has definitely been my most successful car I've had to date. Uh, we managed to win five European Drift Championships uh, in this car and uh, three Middle Eastern Championships in Oman and uh, Irish Championship as well. So definitely has a special place in my heart, um, especially for me it was really good to be involved with the whole build of the car and I think that gives uh, you a more personal connection with it even on track because if something goes wrong or if something is not feeling right uh, You know the car inside out as a driver and it makes a big difference um, Trying to find a problem and uh, get on top of it as quick as possible I think that's enough about talking about my history and the good times we've had in it, but uh, Let's uh, crack open the bonnet and talk about the current spec So current spec of the car it's a 2JZ, of course. What else would I have in there? Very similar spec to my BMW engine. Uh, running ACL race series bearings like all our other engines. Filament caps, BC rods, 
uh, oversized high compression pistons, Borg Warner EFR 92180 turbo, K and N air filter, uh, Hypertune intake and exhaust manifold on this car. Uh, we're running a single shot of 70 horsepower nitrous rear mount radiator. So the AN lines running to the back uh, through alloy lines underneath the car. Uh, we have the oil coolers out here in the front. Two oil coolers with fans. Never had an issue there. Of course, with suspension, we're running a BC Racing ER coilovers with Wisefab kit. I actually developed the V2 kit with Wisefab, and uh, this car feels absolutely incredible. This is still the prototype kit we uh, we have on the car. Shows how strong it is too, because I think that was about that was in 2016 when we were testing this kit. So still the same wishbone, still the same hubs. Uh, definitely after a few steering arms, some contact, but that's all that we had issues with. Um, what else have we got under here? Thermal Smart wastegates, four inch downpipe, and oval exhaust underneath. Uh, on the outside, it's a full custom. Aero kit body kit uh, running the 720 style 55 wheels all around. Uh, they're nine and a half in the front and ten and a half in the back. This car is running Alcon brakes front and rear, four pots in the front, and on the rear we're running uh, twin Alcon four pots. The handbrake ones have a uh, bigger piston, so there's an excellent grab, and the foot brake has smaller piston. So when you're left foot braking, it's not an issue and it's not killing the car when you're standing on the brake quite hard while being on throttle. Funny fact about this car actually, on the rear, we got the BC Racing ER coilovers, and these are the same coilovers which I actually built the car with. Uh, We've been through a few different sets in between, um, but we managed to put these coilovers back on sometime last year and uh, the car is absolutely incredible. So coilovers from so many years ago and this car actually grips really well. Tire sizes, we're running Falcon RT615K plus tires front and rear. On the front we're running 235 and on the rear we're running 265 3518. In the rear we got the Radium FCST fuel cell surge tank system and uh, that's really really nice. We got the two filters quick to hand here if we need to change anything. Myself and Trevor made the firewall a couple of years ago. This was all updated and uh, looks looks really tidy. We got the rear mount radiator sitting in the back. Uh, fuel cooler which is not really needed and uh, electric water pump down here and you can see we got the wing on a set of legs down to the crash bar and uh, Big Country Labs 1850. Wide wing on the back, which actually looks sweet. Under the back of the car, we got the Winters Quick Change rear end. Really nice setup, and this is the same diff um, we've had in the car since I think it was 2015, so it's been super reliable. Drive shaft shaft, axles, alloy prop shaft. So let's uh, have a quick look inside the car. So the inside of this car actually hasn't been painted since 2013. It's got a lot of marks in the roll cage from taking off the harness a million times, but still the chassis is in really good condition. My next plan with this car is probably to strip it down to a bare shell and uh, repaint the entire thing, tidy up some of the fabrication things that have got a bit tatty from years of use and uh, just have it as the car that it was when we first built it, just mint condition and uh, I think as it's not being used as much, it should stay cleaner for a lot longer. On the inside, we got the Carbo Revenge carbon fiber seats, uh, custom stitching, which they can do for you. Very nice, hands compatible Carbo two inch uh, straps here. We got a Samsonas five speed sequential transmission, uh, ECU master, everything. Two PMUs running this car and uh, EMU black. Uh, dashboard is very similar to the BMW. You can flick through the different pages there. Uh, this was actually the first Dash ECU Master ever produced and uh, it's still in the car almost four years later. ECU Master as well wired the car front to back for me uh, when they were installing the product a few years ago. It's quite a basic car on the inside. Um, definitely will look a lot better after a repaint. Okay, so let's quickly jack the car up and uh, we'll have a quick look inside the wheel wells. Show you guys the steering angle with the Wisefab V2 kit. That's as much as I use. It feels absolutely incredible, this car. You can send it on to full lock as hard as you want. Comes off it really nice. And uh, it's just a well, well balanced car.
really fun to drive. Let's have a look at the rear. Here's a quick look at the rear. You can see the Alcon brakes a bit better. Nice setup. We're running Weisswab's new camber arm, uh, which you can adjust in place without removing the arm. This has been a huge help, and just a normal Weisswab rear kit works extremely good. These are Weisswab's new tow arms, which are collapsible. So if you have a crash, instead of bending, instead of bending this piece of the hub here, this piece will collapse and push into the arm. So. It's a lot easier to change the tow arm than the whole complete hub. So really nice design there. What I love working about Wisefab is if we have any issues, they really take things on board and they work with a lot of their drivers to try to make the product better. And uh, we've some, seen some huge improvements over the years. Uh, here are the wheel tubs. It's quite dirty now inside here because it hasn't been painted in years, but uh, a lot of tires burnt off in this car. Hey doggies, hey, yeah. Hiya boy, Jimmy, hey boy, hey ya, you checking me out? I made the tubs myself for this car and it was a real proud moment back in 2013 because uh, it just worked out really nice. I was proud of my, very proud of my wells uh, back then and uh, to be honest, I haven't got much better. So I need to spend a bit more time practicing. It's something I quite enjoy actually. Uh, it takes time, but if you have enough time in your hands, I think uh, doing your own fabrication things are it's quite a lot of satisfaction in it. Yeah, so this car is uh, definitely has a special place in my heart. Um, we've had a lot of good memories together. As I said, it's something that I'll probably keep forever. Uh, we've been to Goodwood a number of times with it. We've been at the Nürburgring uh, doing drift demos at the 24 hour race with Falcon tires in front of thousands of people. Uh, it's been to the Middle East, all over Europe a load of times. Drifting in the on a frozen ice lake. Uh, it's just uh, one of those cars where every time I sit into it, I just love the feeling it gives me. Uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, so that's everything for this week. Uh, we're getting closer and closer and closer to uh, getting back on track. So I'm actually hoping myself that I'll be driving one of the cars in the next couple of weeks. So I cannot wait to bring you some footage of when I'm back behind the wheel. I certainly have missed it a lot. We've been busy in the workshop and it's great to see the progress that we've been making and uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. So if you're enjoying the videos, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll keep doing our best to make as many videos as we can. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great week. Take care. Let's go drifting.